you know, before we get into the sessions, I mean, this is originally what our interview was about, but I mean, I had to ask, I have to ask you, with, with the recent announcement just today uh, by the Ford government, uh, talking about integrating uh, some health agencies into one big one, and that includes dissolving the LINs. I just wanted to get your opinion on that, and what's your take on that? Well, I think it's a little too early for us to be able to comment on the information that's come out this morning. I'd really like an opportunity to be able to look at more detailed information as to what the ministry is planning. But having said that, I think looking at planning for integrated um, community service providers that will help uh, improve the trajectory of patients through the healthcare system so they really uh, have a seamless approach to healthcare, I think is a positive thing. So I find that exciting, but at this point, really waiting to understand a bit more information about what's being thought about. I mean, it will, in expanding on that, it seems to me when the government is encourage, encouraging that integrated care, um, it, it seems like they're describing what Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare already does. Am I correct in saying that? Well, I think you are uh, correct in saying that, but I think it's actually broader than Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare. I think the work that was done by this community and all the service providers that was called MAST uh, has definitely uh, positioned us to be very successful and to be able to move forward with a submission around an integrated care model here that's accountable uh, and I think consistent with what the ministry is, is hoping to see uh, submitted and come forward in the very near future. So I think, yeah, I think we're, we're ahead of the game uh, with respect to other areas of Ontario and looking forward to working collaboratively with our partners and submitting something. Well, and, and you know, speaking of which now that we know kind of where, uh, we know not kind of, we know where the government stands and what they want to do, it, it stems back to now what we're doing here locally in terms of the future of our local health care. So we have some sessions uh, that are coming up next week to uh, talk about the future planning. Can you uh, expand on that? Sure, I'd be really delighted to talk about next week's uh, uh, community sessions that we're planning. We're looking at six different community sessions with our community. And it's really, um, I think, a very exciting time in our capital planning process. And we want to provide an update to our communities on where we are. And specifically, what we will be talking about next, year, next week is an update on where we are and describing the five options that the task force is looking at on a go-forward basis. And we want our community to have an opportunity to look at those five options around the two-site acute care model that the board supported earlier in this process. And just briefly describe um, in, in the time that we have, what are, I know we can't go into too much detail and we'll certainly see uh, that next week, but what are those five options? So two of the options are identical across both sites. Uh, one of the uh, options would be a renovation expansion at South Muskoka as well as in Huntsville. And the, option, the other option would be building a brand new building on the existing site. The fifth option that's different is only applies to Bracebridge or the South Muskoka site, and that would be developing a new hospital on a different site that doesn't uh, have a hospital on it today. Okay, and what are you hoping then to get, so you, you want the public to come out to these info sessions that are happening across Muskoka um, uh, on different dates and times, but what are you hoping to get out of this? Is this the information that you get from residents, is it going to help the task force in making a final recommendation? What, what are we looking for here? Yes, so I think a couple of things is, are the goals of next week's sessions, and one is to actually update our community as to where we are in the planning process. Uh, right. I think uh, Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare prides itself on being transparent and, and ensuring that we're communicating as well as possible with our community. So we want the community to know where we're at. But secondly, we would like people to go around to the different poster boards that we will be having uh, at each of the sessions next week, uh, have an opportunity for them to speak to the architects, to be able to pose, uh, pose uh, the questions around what they're seeing, and to provide us with feedback. And the type of feedback we're looking at is what do you like about the options that you're seeing in front of you? What don't you like? Is there anything that we maybe have missed? Um, and could you provide us with that information? So it really is an update and an opportunity for some feedback. We will have surveys that uh, could be available uh, actually uh, in uh, on site at the time of the presentation and as well they'll be on our website um, after the presentations are, are completed as well as all the other material. 
Okay, and I guess that where can people get more information as to when these sessions are being held or do you have those dates on, on hand with you? Uh, I have those dates on hand uh, with me right now, but they'll be pub the dates will be published on our website as well and they've been in the newspapers. So we are uh, um, looking at the, the six different sessions across uh, Muskoka and East Perry Sound next week. And um, would you like those dates right now? Yes, please. So the first one would be on Monday next week, and it's going to be at the Bracebridge Sportsplex uh, at 7 p.m., and that's March 4th. Then on March 5th, there are two sessions. One would be in the Dwight uh, Community Center at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And the second one on Tuesday would be at the Terry Fox Auditorium in Gravenhurst. On Wednesday, which is March 6th, we would be in Port Carling Community Center on the second floor at 7 o'clock in the evening. We'll be in Huntsville on March 7th at 7 o'clock at the Active Living Center on the first floor. And on Friday, we'll be at the Armour Ryerson Burks Falls Arena Hall uh, to do a presentation there. But the Friday sessions at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, so it, it really, you're really reaching right across Muskoka to get as many people out here as possible. We're absolutely hoping to get as many people that can come forward uh, to be able to uh, see what we're presenting and to be able to comment on the various options that we're putting forward. All this feedback will be very useful to the task force as the task force deliberates on the options that they want to recommend to come forward to the board as we complete our Part B of the Stage 1 planning.